Hello everyone, my name is Thugruck and today we are going to do a tanking demonstration for uh, level 18 HCE and the Raven's Claws. This is going to be an advanced tanking demonstration so the poles are going to be a little, bit, a little bit larger and more complex so that you can have some more fun as a tank, uh, possibly turn some heads and uh, carry your team through the map. For the tanking set, I do wear a royal helmet along with the standard tanking set, cooldown reduction on the boots, CC duration on everything else. I'm bringing omelets with a bridge watch cape and poisons. For the boss swabs, a broadsword, mist collar, and a soldier helmet. Um, I have asked the healer to play holy instead of iron because I don't run iron or no healer runs with uh, groups of random people. I only do that with friend groups and uh, honestly I suggest you do the same. Uh, the Shadow Caller, I believe he's on Spectre. He was talking about switching to Royal, but um, he, I, I believe he decided to go with Spectre. So with, with all that out of the way, I think we'll go ahead and get started. So at the very beginning of the map, we're going to rush a little bit. We're going to try to use our Enfeeble late on the bats so that we can just barely survive the bats without spending any other cooldowns. So then we can go straight to the next pole immediately. At the beginning of the map, we are racing against the Spinner Patrol, who is uh, it's like around the first corner and he's down on the lower bridge. We're racing with him to try to uh, get to that pole before he starts walking back across the bridge. So uh, it's always a little bit close. You really got to rush this part. And um, actually, I'm going to do that pull myself without the DPS helping. Um, and I choose to do that myself because a lot of the times the DPS is lagging behind. And, um, and the uh, DPS aren't uh, luring that mob fast enough. Alright, so for this, we're just going to go up, roll, group them together, E, give it a Q, W, and walk away. Uh, you only really need to Q those mobs once. They die before they can really lose aggro. So now, uh, looks like we did beat this patrol. A little bit of time left on the E, so going to poison. Walk down here, auto attack, roll, group them together, E. Auto, Q, third auto, fourth auto, W, Q, out. He did go with Spectre, nice. And uh, yeah, you could see like by the time the DPS got here, the patrol would have been going back in the other direction. So uh, by luring in myself, I saved us some time because we weren't waiting for the patrol. Alright, uh, before this map, I did pre-type something and copied it. Uh, I just typed, jacket on me please, I have poison cooldown this pole. And that's for the next pole. This pull's pretty standard, just in feeble, uh, Q, auto attack, uh, E when the spinners spin after their second auto attack, fourth auto, snare, walk away. Yeah, so I say, uh, jacket me, please have poison CD this pull for the next one. Uh, yeah, and like I said earlier, uh, we don't run four DPS with uh, random groups. We only do that with friend groups. Next pull, we're going to poison, helmet, roll, Q, send the text. Let him do his ability. Walk up, fourth auto, E, W, out. And this is why we need a jacket, that pull. So uh, we're stuck waiting for 10 seconds now.
All right, gonna helmet, poison, roll, group them together, E, Q, stand up here and auto three times, and feeble, fourth auto, W, Q, wait for their auto, walk out. So uh, when you snare, uh, or actually when you auto attack, make sure you're standing far enough away that you don't cause the uh, crossbows to jump back. And make sure you're still at that distance after the snare. Because uh, if they jump back, it's going to become a messy pull. This pull, you're going to ask the DPS to reset when the mob's up here. That way he cuts a straight line and it's easier to hit this stun. Once you hit the stun, Q, three auto attacks. Q and feeble. E, fourth auto, snare. Q, walk out. Did not need to roll there, whatever. Next pull, we're going to go back and forth a little bit so that the mobs group properly. We're going to uh, walk forward to lure, walk backwards, and then forward and E. That way they all group up and you can dodge the autos. So forward, backward, forward, E. And I missed it. We're okay though. We, got, we don't have bridge watch cape. gonna try this again okay so I'm not gonna talk through it this time there we go it's a lot easier when you're not trying to talk and explain things at the same time four autos W Q roll the mages auto or miss your roll now I wasted my bridge watch cape so um, we're going to have to wait on the next pull because uh, the next pull is a lot easier with the bridge watch cape. Oh, uh, will we have it in time? I don't think we'll have it in time. So ideally they would have reset her when she was there, so then she, like, just, there's less walking, and now we're not waiting for 15 seconds. But, whatever. It's not normal to ask that one to be reset. So we're going to poison, come down here, auto, roll, walk past, walk forward once they're in the cape, E, Q, auto, and feeble, auto, fourth auto, snare, helmet, Q, out. Reset mage is what I'm typing. Yeah, the the patrols are all off a little bit now that uh, we died on that one pull. So a lot of the resets I normally have to type, I don't have to type this run. For this one, we're going to poison, auto, and roll. Poison, auto, roll, E, Q, auto, third auto, and feeble, fourth auto, snare, Q, out. Watching the snare debuff. Snare them early here. 
So then we can go to the next pull. Next pull, just gonna start with helmet. Q. Uh, you build up to three autos. I started at two autos from the last pull, so that's why I did extra. Fourth auto, E, W, roll away. Uh, fourth auto attack, but the passive didn't proc. That's weird. Bug beyond. So now we're going to E back in. Swap to our soldier helmet. Might need a reset here. No, we're good. Um, we're not gonna have... We're gonna use Enfeeble instead of our E. And we've got Bridge Watch Cape too. And they need to F. Next, we're gonna start this poll with Helmet. So just walk up, helmet, E, Q, stand down here, like walk all the way down, then just spacebar to auto attack up to three autos, and feeble, fourth auto, snare, roll out, Swap back to Royal Helmet. Then for this one, you're going to start with Enfeeble. Walk up, Q. Auto, E. Second, third, fourth auto, Snare. Q, walk out. Watching the snare debuff. Snare is done. Um, we'll do a few autos. Wonder if you ever Next pull, gonna start with Enfeeble. Enfeeble, Q, Auto, Helmet, E, Fourth Auto, Snare, Q, Out. During their ability, go up and Q. That's optional, but uh, it becomes more important on this part uh, if you look at the minimap. Um, when the DPS doesn't have their boot cooldown, you can do that pull without them having their invis available. And uh, you keep aggro because you queue the mobs during their ability. Here we type pull and reset so that we can walk past. Party chat, sticky R. Just making sure they have the sticky po potion ready. You want the DPS to placing traps there. If they place traps up here, it's a little bit too far forward. All right, waiting patrol. We're waiting for this patrol to group up over here. Once he does, you'll walk over here, poison the patrol, lure both of these just by walking past them, and roll their auto attack. They'll throw a sticky potion down here, then you go back in and E. So this is it in action. Poison. Roll. That's okay. That's why... Uh, important to have traps in a good spot. So the reason why he walked past was because one of the DPS had aggro from uh, putting the trap too far forward. So to fix this, we're going to 
go a little bit slow here. Wait for them to group up a bit better. That's the important ones. Oops. So a quick suicide and helmet. Hits two of them. Okay. Bridge watch cape. Get the aggro back. Fourth auto. Snare. Q again. Next pull, we're going to start with the Royal Helmet. Once we have it available. We're going to hit all three of these mobs with the Helmet. Once we hit them, Q and Feeble. Snare, Q, out. It's okay if you don't get up to four auto attacks. After this, we're gonna skip. Grab the checkpoint while you're invisible, just in case anyone dies. Patrol is in that spot over there. So, um, since he's going to be walking away, uh, you are able to poison him when he's over here, and feeble walk up, auto attack, and group them all up there. But, um, level 18, I'm not really going to bother risking it. We're fine on time. Um, that's really for if you're just tight on time and really pushing it. So instead we'll just wait for the DPS to be able to reset him. Uh, Alright. Okay, so we're not going to queue again. I I can't get close here. So now we're going to fix this by enfeebling and Okay, we can't fix this. So, would have been able to fix it if I had aggro. No one was using invis. The, uh, the person tried to reset it without invis, also. He's about to do his ability. Okay, pretend the other mob is up here. Going to start with an enfeeble. Auto. Q. Helmet. Auto, third auto, E, fourth, snare, Q, out. The last dog is dead, okay. And uh, skipping, uh, for this map specifically, I bring Tenacity Shoes. Um, I've started bringing Tenacity Shoes for everything, it's just part of my standard skip set now. But uh, here it's specifically useful. You can W, E, F with Tenacity Shoes and you'll be fine. That way you don't have a long cooldown to wait for. Swap to uh, Toughness, Taunt, make sure everything's good, looks like it. 2-2. Two, two. For the off tank, healer to Q if you want. Oh. Alright, 
Ooh, said one second, so I'm gonna pull. Uh, this is a very easy boss fight. Uh, really, all you need to do is W and F to dodge everything. Um, he does spawn a spinning sickle. It tends to happen more when you get close to him, like in his red aura, or when you interrupt him. So if you have problems with a sickle, try not to do that too much. Sometimes when you're up the stairs, he does get a little bit too close and you have to roll past him just so that you don't walk into the mobs that are up there. But um, that's really the only time you should get close. If you're really tight on time, like you have two minutes left on the map, or like a minute and a half, or uh, I didn't have W. Did Tank died. Talking while tanking is hard. Um, was not focusing. Alright, he is up. We're gonna start. While you're up here, if he throws a hook at you, that pulls you in. Not one of the damaging hooks that'll kill you in one shot, but the one that pulls you in. Um, you are able to stand up around this corner, and he'll just pull you into the wall. He won't pull you all the way down to him. So that way you don't need to waste a defensive. Next one, we might have to roll past him, depending on how far he goes. Nah, we'll be good. Okay, there's the sickle spawn. We're gonna have to roll past him, probably. Uh... Really thankful the healer didn't use revive on the DPS that got downed there. That would have been a reset. Alright, there we go. That's how you do a level 18 Raven, guys. Um, I know there were some wipes in there. Uh, you can learn from the wipes just as well as you can learn from uh, no wipes. So, take it as you will. Uh, hope you have fun out there. And, yeah.
See you uh, later.